bomb. Do you made it to Berlin? We've got some security right now. This dude here. Oh. And today I'm joined by a good friend of mine that I brought all the way from Bogota in the front there. Memo. Hola. Hola. He's in the front. I don't think he likes the fact that I went and brought this guy to give us some security here. Vamos a tomar suco. Suco. Quiere suco. Salsa no. Salsa no. Suco. Vamos. Onde? 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 Fala. Fala. Listo. All right, we're escaping the security already. Oh, he's been drinking on the job. Got about 10 cachaças today and about 20 beers. Really? No. Okay, well, at least we made it to the market anyway. Let's get it, let's get it along. Aha. Okay. <laughs> okay, bad start, bad start. And now we can actually relax a little bit because we made it to the market of Belém. One of the biggest markets in the whole of Brazil. Get on this, you can find anything you want here. All your herbs, your natural medicines. And we're gonna go and find the juice without that guy following us. So we made it to the juice part here. See what they've got. Okay. Queremos maracuyar. Want to get some passion fruit or something. As you can see, you got all the sorts of juices here. Mar maracuyar for 25. Quanto é para um um grande maracuyar? Dois. Dois real. Boa. Dois. Dois. Oh man. Hope that guy doesn't come and chase us now. We're gonna go and get some two big passion fruit drinks. And we've been given the juice now. Getting this little passion fruit one. Ah, nice and sour. Okay, have a look at this now. Another part of the market here. Where you can go and buy whatever animals you want here. Wow, birds, chickens, little rabbits here. Oh no, how much a rabbit is. They're not in the best condition. Doesn't seem to be anyone to ask here. Amigo, ¿cuánto vale un, un conejo? Eso. Ven para acá. ¿Cuándo hay por eso? ¿30? Yeah. So for a rabbit it costs six dollars. Y por y por un un frango cuando hay. ¿30? ¿50? 50 yeah. So for a rabbit it costs about six seven dollars, and for a chicken it costs about ten. Wow. <laughs> Nice prices here in the market at Belém. So this looks to be where you can get all sort of foods. Yeah. This looks to be where you can get all sort of foods. Like little stalls that all sell different things. Mainly fish though. This is a strong stench in here. Let's go and see if we can get a little thing. A little light bite. So I'm a little bit hungry but not too hungry for a big meal. Hola. Tem comida pero chiquitito, pequeño. Comida pequeño, pescado. Para comer. Comida. Ajá. Pequeño, pequeño. Como cinco real. Cinco real. No, de cinco no tengo. ¿Cuánto? Diez real. No tengo, no tengo mucho hambre. Mucho hambre, no. ¿Ok? I'm not too hungry. ¿Sí? Diez real, boa. Listo. So you made it here. We're about to go and have a little snack. Memo's not got anything because he's a bit full. But I want to see what a local little plate is like in Belém, in Brazil. In North Brazil. So the meal has arrived now and we're gonna give it a go. Oh man, let's get a seat in here. This is it here. Little more. Let's give it a go. Rice. Mm. Rice and peppers, exquisite. Still got a sour taste in my mouth though from, from my juice before. Some yellow mashed up stuff. Mm. Mm. We got the potato too. Give that a nice little go all in one. Mm. Amazing. Perfect. Nice and hot thing in Brazil. Wow. And we've escaped the market now. We've got the food. We're feeling full. And now it's time to begin our real journey. We want to go to the island of Cotijuba. But in order to do that, you can't get a boat from that port down there. You've got to go all the way down there for about 20 kilometers to 
hop on a little boat and get to that place. So we're gonna make our journey now. I don't know if we need to get a bus or whatever, we're gonna find out very soon. Vamos! I don't know where the hell we are now. Been walking for ages trying to get the bus to Eco Arazzi, which is the other port. But there's no sign of it. Can't find a bus stop. We'll get on this. I found John Rambo's car. <laughs> he must have came too. Wants to join us on our trip to Brazil, John Rambo. So we've decided now to just wait on this street and hope the bus passes because we saw it before and we were shouting at it and he didn't stop. So Memo's down there waiting. He's going to give me a heads up if it comes and I'm going to get a drink. Thought of him. Damn Coca Cola. Yeah. Eso. Let's get a little Coca Cola. I'll see what else he's got. Them, them lata. Ah, Eso. Dois lata, por favor. But it's so hot in this place. It's about 35 degrees. Sweating. You can see it all through my shirts almost. Ah, they've also got the cachaça there too. Cachaça and all the little spirits. Wow, so this is a shop here in Berlin. In the sort of hood area that we're in. Oh man, I feel like my camera can get snatched up any second here. Yes. Eso, muito bom. Quanto é isso? Não, oito. Oito. Obrigado. Ah, nothing better than a nice cold Coca-Cola. Okay, so the bus has arrived now, finally. Oh man. Freedom, okay, we've made it to the little sort of town outside of Berlin that we need to be at to get the boat to cut Chijuba to come find it. Right, so we made it to the port now, check it out. This is it with all the boats. We got a little station down there to fill up with the gasoline. We just bought our ticket super quick because the boat is leaving in five minutes at two o'clock, so we're running to hop on it quick. Now we just gotta figure out which boat it is. I think it's this one down the bottom that's absolutely full. Up the seats. Paracochi Juva. Up the seats now. I see you I know. I'm almost like atrás now. kind of difficult to pass through here but there's some seats at the back thankfully uh -huh. so we've got some seats here the back of the boat here's the views now it's time to head all the way down there oh we've got a long journey ahead of us I'm knackered already and we've set sail now. now. I believe that the island that we're going to be going to is just behind that one there. And from a distance, the river actually looks quite nice. Nice and blue. But as you get a closer look, it's got a bit of a brown tint to it. I don't know if I really want to go swimming in there. But have a look at this, man. You can't beat it here in Brazil. We're a few kilometers away from the main city of Belém now. So we shall be arriving very shortly. And we have made it to Cochizuba. Go and check out what's going on in this little island. Moto taxi? Moto hatching. Okay, so? Moto hatching. Moto hatching? Taxi. Uh, taxi. Uh, moto. It's como, ah, it's como tuk tuk. Uh, como tuk 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 tuk. Eso. Si, sí, vamos, vamos para, para aquí al centro. Para, centro. Para, para quien que. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ir un. El centro, ¿no? Eso. Ok. So this guy just came up to us now and he's offering. I think it's some sort of like a tuk-tuk or whatever. Can't really understand like a motor taxi sort of thing. So we're gonna go with him to the sort of center of the island. And we muy launch it. Down down 25 minutes. 25 minutes. And how much cost for two people? Okay, boa. Boa. So now I understand what he was on about. It's these things here. With the motorbike at the front, and then we sit at the back. Qual is? So to you, Isa? Yeah. Morillo. Boa. So this is it. Oh man. Right, I don't know where we're going. This is a little bit unplanned. He just sort of came up to us. So let's see where he takes us. 25 minutes into the middle of the island. <laughs> oh. Thought we almost weren't gonna go then. Then we had to go off and push that thing. And now we're making movements. On the way we're gonna end up, I don't know. Wow, have a look at that. Little football pitch there. Those are being joined by two other people. But this is our locals living in these little houses. 
lot of the shops have got cages on too, which doesn't give me a lot of confidence about this place. Huh? But we're gonna see what's going on. Load of palm trees, really humid here too. Super hot. We're flying down this path, man. We popped off the main road. Now we're going down here where it's full of holes and puddles and this dude's struggling a little bit to get through. Oh no. Oh, we don't break down again. Ugh. So we broke down once again and now it's time to push this thing. Thing with the ball, the ball, it's the ball. Okay, so we've got to change vehicles now because our vehicle, unfortunately, broke down. Where are you from? Ah, where are you from? Yes, you. England, England. Yeah. Where are you from? Are you from England? Yes, and you? No, I'm from Ah. <laughs> Man, this is the whitest guy I ever saw. I thought he's from England too. <laughs> tricked me there so we're on this little thing <laughs> we've changed the vehicle paid the guy five real and now we're gonna go to our destination i hope so we've been dropped off now after hopping in the other cart i don't know if you can tell i'm absolutely soaked that's because we've been dropped off in the middle here this is i think the center this is the main spot to be on this island I've been waiting under there with Memo for like 25 minutes because we got off and we got absolutely drenched. So now we're heading back down this path to see what we can get up to. Memo, what was the key? We found a little shop. Bom dia. Tem ah bom povertaji. Tem guarana. Uh huh. Show me. Obrigado. This is a little shop here on this island. Wow. Que tem? Coca Cola, água. Um no momento não tem nada. Nada? Não. E lá o helado. Ó, não tem também nada. Ah, é possível comprar isso? Hã? Ah, não tem gelado. Não, para isso com cola? Ó. Oh. Um guaraná, não? Tá. Não, não é só possível? Tem quente, só tem quente, entendeu? Ah, não posso comprar. Ah, não, não posso. Não pode, mas não tem gelado. Ah, não, para não, não se preocupe, tudo bem. Tudo bem. Tá bom. Só aviso um guaraná. Guaraná. Isso, muito obrigado. E aqui há muito para fazer? Aqui? Não, não muito para caminhar ou ver? Isso não, é para lá. Aham, uh -huh. ou para lá? É, para lá. E para lá? Para cá não. É muito uh -huh. longe. Muito longe? Aham. Uh -huh. She's saying there's nothing else to do. Down there, which is the center, but we've been down there, there's not much going on. So, <laughs> I guess we've got a long walk ahead of us. Que tá bom. É, é para tirar os dois daqui? Aham. Uh -huh. Ah, tá. Muito obrigado. So we give our first Guarana of the Brazil trip ago here in North Brazil. Best drink in Brazil. Ah, no, not a problem. We just had the Guarana then and we're off the beach in track. We went down there to the end to see what we could find. Nothing there. So we're going back onto the main road to see if we can get another motor taxi or something and then a rum because it's the best option at this point because it's five o'clock now. We've got about an hour to get down to the port of this island, so it's better to get there quick so that we're not stranded. But this is sort of it, just habitants living here. There's not really too much action, not really too many parties going on. Show you this though. Full of coconut trees. Coconuts, coconuts, coconuts. So two seconds ago I just said that there was no parties. Get on this. Brazilian Michael Jackson there. Prohibido a entrada de menores de 18 años. But unfortunately, if you're under 18, you can't go in there. Haha, <laughs> but I can. Might go in there in a bit, have a little party on the island. On the Amos. Donde? Para el puerto. Ahora? Hola, 
know what I mean? So I'm going to assist the ride for us hopping on one of these little things again, these little carts. So that was pretty handy. So you've been given fruit by the guy with us here, gonna give it a go. I don't know what this is. Sort of dry. Oh, it's got a pit. We made it back to the port, so they a whole loop around the island. There's mainly houses, but some people selling stuff here. So let's hop back on the boat and I'll see you when we're in Berlin. And we've made it back to Berlin after that huge journey on the boat and then on the bus again. We've made it back to the main city and now we're heading to the hotel. These are the streets that we're on here, oh man. Let me tell you, it is rough here. But this isn't really the place you want to be walking around at night. However, I'm wearing a ski mask, so hopefully you think I'm a local here in Brazil. But as we walk into the hotel, we made to this sort of historical building. Not too sure about the history about it, though. Quite a nice sight to see. But the best thing about Brazil is that one minute you think you're in Europe, and the next minute, you think oh, you might get robbed at gunpoint. And we finally made it back to the hotel after the long day. Oh, I've got the card now. Let me show you what you get. For $50 here in Belém, in Brazil. So this is it. This is what you get in Brazil for $50. You got the sink there. Got my grocery bag that I just bought from the shop. You got a bidet, that's how you know it's fancy here. We're not messing about. Obviously we're going to be splitting the prices. There's two of us. You got the two beds, one and two. And the best part about it is the huge city view 11 story living baby this is it wow it's quite built up this city and now we'll be continuing this video in the airport of Belém because we're gonna be going to Manau tomorrow so i'll catch you when we're there we're in the airport of Belém now we're gonna wait two hours for our flight to Manaus so we'll see you when we're doing something crazy over there in the Amazon right now it's about one o'clock i think about 1 30 and we're going to do a whole loop of Manau because the next few days we've got a lot planned we're going quicker but we're getting a whole lot wetter seems like he just tried to speed up to get his money a little bit quicker you know wow hope this boat doesn't sink don't know if i have any trust in this to be honest <laughs> don't know the rules and regulations in the amazon wow we're getting on this you can see all the large boats which you can hop on sail all the way down the river wow we're pulling in now to the port of Manau. This is where things are going to start to get a little bit sketchy. Obrigado. Wow. Check it out. Wow. Well, there are the boats that I was on about there where you can go and set sail all the way down the river. Now it's time to go and explore the city and see what's going on. Usually, towards the ports, this big market, as you can see down there, is this huge market of fish. So, we're going to go in there and see what sort of stuff they're cutting up. Absolutely stinks in here. Wow, get on this here. They're cutting up all the fish that they would have caught. Wow. That they would have caught out there fishing in the river. They've been on you. Wow, get on this. And you can see that's a damn piranha that they would have caught. Mira, Memo, Memo, Mira. Piranha, yeah. Quanto vais para uno? Uno. Uh huh. Dois real. Vinte reais. real para uno. Wow, so for all of that, as you can see, costs 20 reals. Listo, obrigado, amigo. It costs 20 reals for that whole batch of piranhas, which is like four dollars. We already made a little friend there who's helping us down in the markets. Get a damn juice. Suco. No. It's suco. Muy poco, no? Yeah. Oh, no. Americano? Americano. No, English and Colombian. Ah, colombiano. Ah, tú eres 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 colombiano. Ah, no. An odd pairing here in the Amazon. An English man with a Colombian friend. Suco. Tem suco. Tem, tem, tem. Tem, tem. Ah, ha. Maracuyar. Maracuyar. ¿Cuánto veis para Maracuyar? 
Oito. Oito. Oito dólares. Oito reais, eu estou brincando. Oito. Ah. Oito. Isto. Mas nós sabemos que não sei, né? Eu falo, não foi speaking a Jews. Isto. Para ele, dois. Dois sucos de maracujá. Dois sucos de maracujá. Sim, dois sucos de maracujá. Isso. Boa. Queres, queres o nome de maracujá? Sim, sim. Listo. Só? Só? Já, todo bem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, mamá huevo. Muchas gracias, mamá huevo. Mamá huevo. Vale, vale. Listo. Todo bem. Ok, so we've made it to the place where we can have the juice. The only thing is the whole market, it seems to be shut, and as you can see, it's all shut. So we're going to sit here, relax, and hopefully, Go and see what else is going outside before the whole place shuts. As I said, it's a little bit late, but we should be okay. Muito obrigado. Como é? Está rico? Oh, it's like a little passion fruit slushy. Get on that, you got all the little bits inside. Wow. And it was eight reals, which is like two dollars, something like that. You can't beat it here in the Amazon. What is it? It's eight. So we've left the market now. Emma's already finished his juice. I'm still getting stuck into my little passion fruit thing that I've got now. I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little bit rough. We just crossed the road then, that's where the market was. Just on the whole loop around there. And we found what looks to be Another rough area to check out. <laughs> oh man, things that happen in the Amazon. One minute you've got one idea, you're gonna go and check someplace out. Next minute, you find a guy who can take you on his damn motorbike, which is actually meant for beer and other things that people have bought for their shops or whatever. But in the Amazon, there's no rules. You wanna hop on, all you gotta do is say, take me there, and as long as the place isn't rough like on the other side, he'll say yeah. Oh, we've got an issue. We've hopped on in the motorbike. No say it's come on bravo, no? Oh you got a guy shouting at us and the damn motorbike has broke down. Oh no, things are getting south quick. Ah now we're picking up speed now. We're already getting shouted at which ain't ideal. place is rough though. Wow. Okay, we've hopped off now. And it looks like we made it to another market, except this time it's the market of clothes. Right, so now after walking for about two minutes, we made it to the clothes market. Check it out that. You've got a huge picture of an indignant eye. As you know, I'm level 10 out of 10 on the Brazil scale ski mask, fake Oakley sunglasses, football shirt. However, my good friend Memo here is lacking in that department, so we're gonna go see if we can get him a little shirt. Amigo, para comprar camisa de football. Are you? Listo. Listo. Obrigado. Está bien, amigo. Ten camisa pre con así. Manga largo. Largos. Manga largo. Eso. De flamenco o algo. Botafogo. See what he's selling. Mm. Corinthians. Wow. Turns out the damn Amazon has a football team, Amazon is FC. What is price? 40. 40? But this is good, right? This is good for what is Amazon. Let's try it. Let's see how it is. Oh, it's small. A little bit small. <laughs> Ten más largo. As you came inside, it seems anything else. Eso es más grande que otro. Se ve que es Ah, pero mira que tiene el tigre. Hoy sí, mucho mejor. Mayor, ¿no? Sí. Ay, mira, mira. Para allá nada más. Get on this one here now. Wow. Mira. Toca ser fiel a mi equipo. Flamenco. ¿Todo bien? ¿Cuánto veis para eso? Está como 45 lucas. Yo puso para ahora. Claro. Can you 
Listo, listo. No, espera, espera. ¿Crees? 40. Sí, 40. 40 porque hay un. un Esa cosa 30. Es un poco. 30 de. 40. Es que esa vaina es la más cara. Eh, UV, protector solar. Tienes más 50. También, UV. 40. 40. 40 euros. Ahora está también. Y 35. Ándale, muchachos. Listo. 40. So we've got our first shirt, our first long sleeve. For the men, we've got to stay loyal to the team. Wow. Obrigado. Obrigado. I'm going to put all that money in my pocket here. Make sure I don't get snatched up. Todo bien? Todo bien, man. Ah. Todo bien, ¿qué es eso? Bravo Florent, como Pablo Bravo Florent. Hola. Ay, pero, pero vos, ¿no? Ay, vos y vos. Sí, ah, bueno, se bien. bien. 35. 35, no, que ya compramos eso, ¿no? Eh, chimé, chimé, chimé. Flamenco. Flamenco. Eh, Flamengo. Flamengo. Baixo, baixo. 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 Memo. Mickey Mouse, Gucci. Gucci, Mickey Mouse, I know. Hey Gucci, Mickey Mouse. Ah. <laughs> this place is nuts. Got this guy spitting on the street too. <laughs> oh wow. I've got to say though, I've not saw any tourists here. Just pure Brazilians. Not complaining though. Not gonna lie though, just walking down these streets, you get a little bit of a sketchy vibe. Quite a few rats too. Wow. It's like the colonized area, check it out. Look at the buildings here. Do you think you need to pay to enter? No security, do you think? Here no, but... No. Uh, so this is it. So I thought you might have had to pay there because there's a little dude sat down there, a little security man, but I think that's just to stop cars from coming in and out. To make sure there's no traffic around the place, make it easy to walk. And relax. Wow, but aquí se ve mucho más tranquilo, ¿no? Wow, it's a lot more relaxed. There's no, no people at all. Wow, get on this. Now that is something. In the middle of the Amazon rainforest, a huge theater with a dome at the top. It is so damn hot, though. This camera's been turning off often because of how hot it is and the sun beaming on it. Oh man, gotta be careful about that, but check it out, you got all the artwork too on the side of the buildings. Even though that does look a little bit rough, they make it nicer. The way they do the little graffiti, little paintings on the side. Now let's just go and head up these stairs, see what there is. Wow. Seems all shut, we might have to buy a ticket or something. But still good to see outside. So we've done a whole loop round, no way you're getting in. I think maybe it must open in the morning or something, but as you can see it's to the other side. Wow, the little colonised area little theater there's one more building down here little yellow ones we're going to check that out before we dip out this place but really i can't exaggerate enough how relaxed it is man look at it's barely any cars obviously a few there could pass in through but it's super relaxed there's not even many many tourists or anything here it's kind of weird mm. you have to be careful my ski mask here don't want to think that i'm gonna rob the place so I think they're doing some sort of siesta where they basically open in the morning or whatever then shut and then open later again so I think the plan might be to dip maybe come back in a bit or whatever I'm not too sure that's the building so you can see the colonization in Manaus Amazonas Brazil right, so we both made a decision that we're going to bounce out at the centre of Manaus now and hop on a bus and head further in to the depths of the place so we're gonna go and try and take a bus let's go and see what it's like to take a bus in the amazon rainforest <laughs> <laughs> so we made it onto the back of the bus now oh man it seems like you've not left this port the whole day there it is just down there finally we can escape <laughs> <laughs> and finally we made it out of there after like 45 minutes in the damn bus well I'll get on that don't fall down there we finally made it deep 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 man out right then let's see what's going on around here get on this for a roundabout though in the Amazon rainforest have a look at this wow 
some sort of big steel statue you got a little park down there we have got no idea where we're going i'm following the leader here he seems to know the way so to keep on walking down here see what else is going on on this side of my now and we've been walking for ages now ski mask came off because i'm absolutely sweating at this point and the sun's gone down so we can relax a little bit but we found a little supermarket so we're gonna go in here get a damn fizzy drink i must have ever seen in guarana looking for guarana the best drink in the whole of brazil I'm gonna go on a mad sugar rush after that. After all the drinks I've been having. Obrigado. Oh, no better feeling than leaving the supermarket with an ice cold Guarana litre bottle. Come on, vamos. Derecho. No better feeling. So we're gonna get that down on us as we're cruising the streets at this place. Oh, I've got a while to go now. We've we've decided that the plan is to go to our hotel. Because we're that far away from anything. We thought maybe, you know what, we'll go out the outside, see what's going on. But not too much, just mainly sort of sort of hood. Uh, well, not hood, like neighborhood areas. Seems okay at this point. But we have been warned to kind of relax, don't go around these parts too far away from the center in the nighttime. So we're going to go ahead to the hotel, relax for a bit, and maybe go for some food in a bit. We're in the middle of a damn highway. <laughs> Get on this man. Still got no idea where we're going here. <laughs> he just he just keeps on going and going forwards and I'm like, where's the damn direction here? Look at these people going in all directions. Oh man. Hopefully we can pass here. Crees que los carros van a parar o no? Crees que los carros van a parar? No. No? Doesn't look like the car's gonna be stopping anytime soon here. Está corriendo. Pasamos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I used to have to walk it for no joke. About an hour and a half. As you can see, it's actually gone dark now. We finally found our hotel, which is that one up there. Got a dodge traffic here. Hey, no? Yeah, so as we made to the room now, get on this. So this is what you get for $40. In Manau, in the Amazon. Obviously, we're going to be splitting the price. Because there's two of us in the room. So it's not bad. It's like $20 each, as you can see. Look. You got the little bathroom, shower, toilet in there, two beds there, and the great view of Manau. Wow. Bom dia! We're currently escaping the sort of favela area down there and we've walked about an hour from where our hotel is because now it's time <laughs> to go all the way to a far away Pueblo. Wow! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. As you can see, this is the whole of the Rio Negro River. Oh man, I'm knackered already and it's time to go and see what's going on over there right so we've currently made it to the middle of the bridge i'm being very careful with my step as you can see the floor is absolutely soaked now one thing that i forgot to tell you too is that here in manau today there is an orange weather warning for extreme rain <laughs> and storms and thunder and lightning so hopefully we can get to the side pretty quick as you can see this bridge is absolutely huge, but I'm just focusing on not falling over. <laughs> but wow, this is it. Bang in the middle. At least there you can get a little bit of shelter. Oh man, and all the way in the distance is my now. Let me go a little bit closer to the edge. Don't want to go too close though. Oh man, that cloud doesn't look great either. And we finally made it to the other side after all that time. Check it out, that's the bridge that we just crossed. It's absolutely huge. And down there, looks to be a little bit sketchy. In the sense that it's probably absolutely riddled with crocodiles. The way the trees are growing out of the river. And now we must continue to the closest town nearby. Don't know where it is. 
going out some people or whatever we need to get there quick so as you can see here the weather's so bad that all the locals have been very clever actually because they heard the weather warning and look none of them have showed up to work all abandoned nothing here i'm also getting followed by a stray dog and as you know if you know me you know i don't like stray dogs right we're crossing the highway now because we found a little guy on the other side so we're gonna go and ask him if he knows the way to this damn place get on the little jungle here we got the highway the road and on each side jungle Bom dia pra Irandua. Irandua. Oh, ah, está muito. Não é perto, não. Está bem longe. Tá. Só daqui para Iranduba é 8 km. Como vamos? Em bus? Hã? Caminhando? Não. Ou pega carona ou então pega, pega um táxi para chegar até lá. Táxi? É. Isso aqui você toxi? É, eles param. Ali eu tenho uma parada, ali tem uma parada, não tem ali aquele posto de gasolina? Ah. Pois é, bem em frente, tu fica ele, lá. Ele é o frente pra... Ah, ah mira, aí aí eu não era bomba, não? Wait, I'm leaving memo behind. Boa, I'm leaving him behind. I'm going solo. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, because there's a little gas station down here. We're gonna go down there so we can get a taxi or something like that. I don't know, we're gonna go and ask over there. And we're still running now. Also, I'd like to say thanks, mate. He told us go on way outside the gas station. It's in damn construction. Oh, 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 no, no, oh, 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 I've just stepped in the world's biggest puzzle on the side of the road. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Irandua, hang on a minute. That's two, he's two for two, look at this. Irandua, 25 kilometers, 25 kilometers. Didn't you say it was eight kilometers? <laughs> Didn't you say it was eight? Toro em, pra o pueblo. Irandua. Cacau. É, é isso, pra lá. Cacau. Pra lá. Quando é pra lá? Até 20. 20, boa. <laughs> oh man, so we finally found a taxi who can take us to this damn place. Cacau pirilo, né? So we're going to stay in this car now and he should be able to take us to the closest town nearby and it's still raining here we've made it here check out this little place here getting followed by a little dog again got a little tiny port there in this whole market we need to get out of here quick though because we're trying to get to irandua don't know where it is though wow get on the little market here you can see you've got all the fruits to oh finally we've got some shelter oh and some nice Brazil nuts there. Entonces, ¿qué es el plan? ¿Quieres comer algo aquí o vamos a...? A Irandua. Irandua? Más rápido. ¿Sí? Aquí no hay nada. No? Looks to be nothing here. ¿Crees que es mejor preguntar un lancher o vamos en el bus? Para Irandua. Eh, ¿De taxi? ¿En un taxi para allá? El amarillo. Es que la lancha tiene que dar más vueltas. Curaría más la lancha. Vamos a preguntar al lancher. Vamos a preguntar. Pra Irandua, Irandua, pra lá. Pra lá e em lancha não, Irandua, não? Eu creio que perguntamos, não? We're gonna ask if we can go to Irandua on the boat. I don't think it's possible. And if it is, it might be a little bit pricey. We're gonna go and see how much they charge us here. And if not, then we might have to go and hop in another taxi to get to Irandua. Ai, mira, há um barro. Look. And down there, there's a little bar. ¿Qué te parece si vamos al barro? ¿Vamos? ¿Para crear lancha para el barro? ¿Vamos al barro? ¿Tomamos un, un cerveza o algo? Wow! It's a bar on the river. Un día. Para Irandúa. Irandúa. Uh -huh. Para la lancha, ¿no? ¿Y, no? ¿Y cómo vamos para ese barro? ¿El lancha? Yeah. Let's go and ask this guy if he can take us to this bar on the river here. Never saw anything like this before. Bom dia. Pra lá? Pra barro? Let's try and get on this here. Keep it steady. Okay, we're on it now. 
Oh man, I've got no idea what's going on here. We're on the Black River. It's a, it's a Rio, Rio Negro. Rio Negro, so we're on the Rio Negro River again. Uh huh. Iso. And he's just giving us a little boat journey to the bar on the river. This is quite strange. Never saw anything like this before. Glasses on, get ready for the party in the bar. What? Obrigado. Okay, so we've currently made it now to the bar. Wow. Tudo bem? Tudo bem? Cerveja? Isso. Muito. Muito obrig... No. Placer. Placer. E hoje se está lá grande, não? Ah, oh, Antártica. Boa. Quanto é para isso? Dois. 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 Boa. Boa, boa, boa. Wow, we got the world's biggest booze here. Hey, so the main man. Ay, mira. Entonces, Metaji, Brazil, Metaji, Flamenco. Let's go and check out the, the views. You got a hammock in the middle. ¿Qué vas a hacer? So I think he's saying that this is his boat here too. Ah, mira, ah, mira. Poco más. Poco más. As you can see, you got the views of the Rio Negro once again from a different point of view. Let's go and get some booze down us. Me puedes ayudar con. Eso. Oh, all right, let's get the go. The Antarctica. Oh. Ah, nice and smooth. And goes down the tree. Nice and ice cold too. Just like the Antarctic. Bail is Right then, so let's go and see what else is going around in this little sort of, what would you call this? Village on the river? Not too sure, wow. Step over this rope though. Wow. Wow, this is it. This is how these people live. I don't know if I've got any confidence in these wooden panels though, not gonna lie. Hey, pra caminhar lá. Caminhar lá. Oh, you see how that moves there? Woo! Boa. Oh, four, two, three. Oh, I, I put to ver. Eh. Yeah. Vamos. Boa. Ah, no, pode parar que tá quebrado, quebra aí. No, perigoso. Eh, perigoso. Right then, let's make our way back. Oh man, you gotta be very careful with your feet here. The way the wood's moving. Muito obrigado, amigo. E já vamos em. Oh, assim não? Boa. Boa. Vamos ir em lancha? Onde vamos em lancha? Para lá? Para lá? Let's get out of here. Go down there or back down there. I'm not too sure. I didn't really understand what he was saying. He was saying we're either going to do a loop down here or down there. Prazer. Prazer. Teu nome? Mai. Mai? Dino. Gino. Dino. Vamos usar isso não para isso. Boa, 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 boa. Beleza, beleza. Remar. Não de motor, motor. Motor também. Motor também aí, ó. Ah, também. Boa. E para onde vamos? Para lá ou para lá? Para lá. Para lá para ser na volta. Andar, andar. Ah, andar uma volta. Beleza. Não se move. Mas você também não me pode. O moinho. Ah, ah, ah. Não pode pôr. Boa, boa. Wow, não sei se um sorte dor, é? Eu não. ¿Tú vas a hacer eso? Sí. Ay, no, no yo tengo no, confianza no. en ti haciendo eso. No, yo, yo, Déjalo yo, para los brasileños, mejor. No, yo sé. Ahí. <laughs> Ahí. Right then, we're on the move here. Julie, Alice, el paseo. Vamos. Está funcionando boa. Beleza, beleza. Beleza. Can you tell a little a new word in Portuguese? Beleza. But now it's time to change position. This is not safe. Here in the Amazon, there is, there is no rules. There is no rules. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Oh man. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get in the front here. Looks like they've got some sort of little shops on the side here too. But in these sort of places, obviously everyone's living there on the water. 
and then you have to get a little luncher to the main sort of town on land. It's interesting how some of these people live. You don't, you don't that no, the only thing that I do hope is that this boat is. Oh, we just had a log there. I hope that this boat is okay. I'm gonna trust the man with the half flamenco, half Brazilian top. Is that a wise idea? Probably not. But here we go now. We're making our loop round. We should be landing back in the port soon to go to our final station of Irandua. Muito obrigado. Right, how the hell are we gonna leave here now? Aka, in this real. Boa. Oh, shit. Shoes soaked again. Okay, then now we've switched back on land and it's time to avoid the stray dogs in the tip and head to Iran. Dua. Bom dia. Pra ir Iran Dua. Boa. So we're gonna go and take this taxi now, the little yellow one. To Iran Dua. Because it's charging us 15 and 15 real, which isn't too expensive, it's like three pounds each. Right, and we've been dropped off now, finally, in the centre of Iran Dua. Wow, it's quite the sight to see, not gonna lie. Get on this, this must be the center plaza of this little town. Oh man, wow. <laughs> this is what happens when you just see a place on the map when you go, and you don't do any planning. So we've came here now, there's nothing to do. But as you can see, the town's an absolute derelict. I don't know what this used to be. A few people down there bringing some Antarctica in the bar. But other than that, it's a very relaxed place. You're also getting a few funny looks too. There's a huge abandoned building here, which we must enter as our duty of Iranduba soldiers. Oh man, it absolutely stinks though. Get on this man, the whole place is falling down here. Bomb gear. So we've had permission from the local <laughs> squatter to check it out. So we should be in the clear. Check it out here. Does this sell you on visiting Irandua? Probably not. Huh? <gasps> and at the very top is a damn vulture. Getting away from that thing quick. So after doing a big loop around this place, there's nothing here at all. There's a few streets. Nice looking church though. So we're gonna dip out. Bomb, well, cheers so it's the next day now. I don't know if you remember the guy that took us from the other side of Rio Negro all the way back down to Manau. Well, we're with him again, because we went down to go and check if we want to go and see an indigenous village here in the Amazon rainforest. We went down there, we talked with him and he said, look, pay us 200 real, something like that, 200 real, and we're going to take you down to one where a load of people don't visit. So that's where we're going now, as you can see. We're back on the river again, and we're going to go and see what's going on down there. Wow, so it looks like we made it now. You can see there's some sort of little shack on the Rio Negro River now. Wow, it wasn't long at all. About 30 minutes on the boat here. As you can see, someone's already parked up too. This is this? Indigena? Delphine? Ah. I'm of it. So I think you just said there's some sort of dolphins here too. Ah. Well, that was unplanned. Not too sure where we're going here, not gonna lie. Things got off plan a little bit here. Yeah, give it a minute or two, so we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go in first and meet the dolphins and then maybe we'll come film me while I'm doing it and then you can go in. Do you see Charlie Anti or Ella? Pio lo pico un poco si no. They're like these little pink dolphins. I didn't even know there was dolphins in the Amazon before this. 
Ah, não, 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 Wow. But it's super big too. And they go and they dip under the water and then they come back up as soon as he gives the fish. That was next level, the way it comes up on your feet. I was stepped on it a few times though, and as you can see, the teeth are black. Man, I'm glad it didn't drag me down though. Thankfully, the guys have got a sort of train the way they give them the fish, and then we can do a little spin round. Now, man, was gonna hop and get on this. Wow. As you can see, the water's pitch black too. Get on that there. He's getting in. Only bad thing, we'd have to use them little. What are they called? The life jacket looking things. So you don't sink. See? Yeah. So remember saying that one of the dolphins here has actually got its mouth, so, like its jaw sort of hanging off, which is a little bit sad to see. He thinks that it must have fought with another one or something like that. Maybe. As one of them's got the fish or whatever, the other one's coming when. Don't know, I'm not an Amazon River, Rio Negro River <laughs> expert. We just finished up then with the dolphins. Just down here having a look. See what they've got to offer here in this little shack. On the Rio Negro River, you can see, look. Something else going on down there, I don't know what that is. Wow, it's quite fascinating. The way that they can train the dolphins to come over. Like that. Then, bebida. Cerveza. Skull. Skull Brahma. Memo. Let's see if Memo wants some booze too. Getting a Brahma down me. On the Rio Negro River. Kiddies, I'll go for a bit. I ten in Brahma. Cerveza Brahma. Quiero probar? Sí. Es buena. Muito obrigado. Vaya. Brahma. No better place to drink some Brazilian beer than in the Amazon rainforest. So the Amazon pirates have set sail once again after raiding a local shack <laughs> for its beer and now we can finally go and see the indigenous people however the weather seems to be taking a turn for the worse I don't know if you can see these clouds here but they're not looking too promising I just hope it doesn't absolutely team down as we're on this river <laughs> So the good news is where we are now it's not raining but the bad news is that behind us it's absolutely teeming down confirmed by the guy driving the boat so we're currently escaping the clouds i think we've probably got about five or ten minutes before where we are gets a little bit wet so this moment is absolutely incredible we're currently pulling up to the Amazon River, which is another color. It's a brown color, as you can see. So this, the black color of the Rio Negro, and over there, the brown, is the Amazon River. There's actually a point, there's a line down the middle here, where the water, the color changes, get on this, man. Oh, wow. Never saw anything like it. Just pulling up here, as you can see, wow. Look at the color change here. Oh, man. Can you believe? that the two rivers meet in the two different colors you can see look this is the little line here black brown black brown wow i'm not gonna lie though this looks a lot rougher though just for me i'd rather swim in the black river than the brown one. <laughs> oh wow this is incredible now i don't know if we're gonna be going down the amazon river or the rio negro and now we're going down the Amazon River we made it, the Amazon River Let's go, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> So there you go, you can see This line here, this line here Yeah, 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 let me tell you, if you get lost here, no one's coming and saving you. Have a look, little guy there. Must be some sort of fisherman or something. 
a little house there, little house there, little house there, man. Oh, wow, how some of these people live is just incredible. Right, so we've looped round now as we go down the Amazon River here. And we've made it to what looks to be the little town now. I'm not too sure if it's a proper indigenous place, but it looks like these are the people that live in here on the side of the Amazon River. And they're the locals, so we're going to go and see what's going on in this little place here. Hopefully they accept us with open arms. Now, we don't actually know if we can visit this place. What sort of rules is... Our driver said he's going to try and talk for that to the people to see if we can go and check the place out. We'll get on this. Look how high the houses are built. You got a guy up there currently building one too. Let's go and see if they welcome us. Oh no, you've already got the street dogs coming out here. Dora Ben? Am I the first Englishman to ever touch down in this little village on the Amazon River? Maybe. Maybe yes. But just look at how high the houses are built here. El agua llega hasta ahí. El agua? So he's just saying there that agua reaches, the water reaches up to this point. Just to put that into perspective, that high. So now I understand why the houses are built. Because when the water comes, when it's rainy season, probably floods the whole place if they don't build the houses too high anyway. So it looks like we've currently disturbed the class. <laughs> I suppose it's kind of hard to focus when an Englishman comes in and it's walking in your town <laughs> but that's the first time it's happened but check out this place man I'm sure there's a restaurant here, no? Or something for to eat or something Look at this Ah, look at the Wow, look at the shop here This is a real life Amazon shop You want to see what an Amazon shop looks like? Get on this Todo bien, buen día. Tienes que probar cachaza. Cachaza. Es como agua ardiente. Yo quiero um, cachaza y un Coca Cola. Escarlate y 51. 51. Check it out there. Uh, in the Amazon, you got the cachaza. I'm gonna be drunk here. On the way back on the boat now. Like real life pirates. Ta boa. Cachaza in the Amazon rainforest. You can see full. It's like a little spirit drink. <laughs> well, just being in places like this makes me think, what are the kids learning in the school? I'd love to know what they're reading in the books. As you can see, walking on the football field now. Not gonna lie. Be a little bit difficult to play some football on here the state of the floor there i've played on worse pitches though <laughs> and this is it it's like a little cul-de-sac sort of village where you go in and all the houses are surrounding the main sort of field here and a lot of the houses seem to have a sort of they've got stairs but the stairs are super steep it's kind of similar to a ladder gotta go and see what's going on here another sort of shop looking thing Got the clothes hanging out to dry. Bom dia. Anybody in? Bom dia. TV's on. Right, so we found the football now. We're gonna have a little game here. This stuff. Yo quiero, yo quiero pegar el fútbol para tocar esa parte. ¿Cómo se llama? El palo. Sí. Puede grabar. Bom dia, desculpa. Tem, você tem comida? Possibly. Los dois. Comer a, a lá? Boa. So the ladies come out now, so we heard the racket as we were playing football then. I don't know. Things have all of a sudden got a little bit quiet here. So we're waiting for our food. We met by a little dog and a little old lady. I imagine she's the mother of the woman who's about to cook our food. So, everyone seems to be quite welcoming here. It's a lot cooler here. As you can see, so this is where the people live and they also got a little restaurant here. 
Ah, well, it's como hamburguesa. As you can see, they got the meat cooking there. Looking nice. Soy mucho mejor. Ala? Más fresco, vento. Sí, ala. Obrigado. Just saying, it's a little bit colder here. Oi, muito melhor, não? Muito melhor. Ui. Fresco como o rio. Wow. Get on this for a view. Imagine waking up in the morning to this view here. Wow. E suba, você quantos anos? Quantos, quantos anos? Você? 30. 30 anos? E antes? Manau? No. Ou mais para lá? Mais para lá. But it just shows you how some of these people live here along the river. As you can see they've got all their, their pots and pans all on the walls. Wow, man. I don't know if I can live here though. It's a little bit hot. Food has arrived. A hamburger. Oh, it's very rico. Wow, get on this. A real life burger here in the Amazon. Let's see if it's any good. Mm. It's actually quite nice. It's got egg, ham, and beef. Quanto é para todo? 26 Right, so we used the food then. It cost about six dollars. We're currently escaping a little town on the side of the river. And we're going to be heading back on the boat to Manau. Bye little village, back to the main city.